to steal a word from a football lingo, I definitely outkicked my coverage, <laughs> but somehow still scored the touchdown. Kim, you are fantastic. I knew pretty much from the moment that we met that one of two things would happen. Either you would be big trouble for me because I was your boss, or we'd have a great relationship, whatever that developed into, and it absolutely did develop into the best possible scenario relationship in my life. And I can't wait to grow and learn together with you and challenge each other. So thank you very much, Kim, for saying yes. When I proposed up there on the mountain, it means everything to me. This kid was so easy to raise. I rarely had a problem. He is uh, thoughtful, has empathy for other people, loving, and he has found a bride that is just awesome. They've got good things coming ahead of them. I'm sure of it. Uh, it makes me really proud to say that I am Scott's dad and now Kim's father-in-law. I love him to death. It seems like I blinked my eyes in that delivery room and she turned into a little girl. I blinked my eyes again and she's this beautiful woman and bride standing before me. Kimberly, I'm so proud of you and all the great qualities you possess. My daughter's a loving person, trusting, loyal, kind, giving, caring, and she has a great sense of humor. Kimberly, I'm the luckiest father in the whole world to have a daughter like you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you with all my heart. Scott, when I walked into that Geico office so many years ago, I never would imagine that I would meet the man I would spend the rest of my life with. And that two years later, we'd be sitting at the Deadwood having Bloody Marys and laughing hysterically for hours. I knew then that there was something special about us. What started as an amazing friendship turned into so much more. You are the, my best friend and the love of my life. You are my partner in crime and everything I could have ever asked for in a partner to share this wonderful adventure with. So today, as we become one and I become your wife, I promise to never stop adventuring with you. I promise to always prioritize your goals and dreams and help you achieve them. I promise to challenge you and to continue to that drive for success that you have inside of you. I promise to respect you always. And I promise I will choose you every day for the rest of our lives. Kim, you are my inspiration and my muse my partner in climb and the guardian of my heart. I promise to live for you in truth, to communicate fully and without fear of judgment. I vow to give more than I take, to find peace in those quiet moments and joy in the hectic hours that life will bring to us. I give you my hand, my mind, and my soul Yes, I do have one. <laughs> and I take your love for the rest of our lives. Moon of my life, <laughs> on this day and every day forward, I am proud and fortunate to call you my wife. Scott and Kim had been dating for about 
six months to maybe eight months when Kimberly said to me one night, I'd like to have Scott over for dinner. Then she added, I really, really want you to get to know him. Yeah, I knew something was up. Yeah. I asked her before meeting him, what do you think about him? Please tell me your thoughts. And she said, well, Dad, he's smart. He believes in hard work. He wants to make something of himself. He put himself through college. He's my best friend. He makes me laugh. And I feel safe when I'm with him. This is the idea that I want to leave you guys with today. To be there to support each other's climbs. To give just the right amount of rope. To be attentive. To alternatively cheer and to push. And of course, to be there to soften life's inevitable falls. This was a couple that puts each other's happiness first. These two have teamwork pretty well figured out. I cannot wait to see what they do together next.